Hi guys, this video is just to show you how to overclock an AMD A8-3500M um, processor. Um, so we'll just start from the beginning really fast. And sorry for the crappy video quality, I was just too lazy to find one of those programs that copies your screen moves. Anyways, you're going to go to this website, sites.google.com slash site slash k10 stats slash, and you're going to download kstat154. Um, all right, and I've put this website um, in the description so you can just copy it. So uh, don't worry too much about that. Once you've downloaded that, um, make sure you extract the file to somewhere that you know. Uh, for example, I've, download, I've downloaded it to my download section and users. Um, I usually try to avoid the desktop because I don't like nasty folders on my desktop. Anyways, I set it to downloads and once that, that has extracted the downloads, you're going to go in and you're going to press on the exe to run and that brightness just went nuts okay yes allow it to run and you'll come up with this pretty simple menu here now k10 stats i mean it's you know i call it a pretty nerdy program because it's you know there are a bunch of values and fields which you know it's hard to understand anyways just bear with me and just copy the exact things that i'm telling you to do here um, this is a pretty stable build that uh, I actually got from someone else on YouTube. I will credit him in the description because I can't remember right now his name. Um, so this is the build that I have, and I'll show you right now how to get this build. So pick any profile that's not one. Um, for example, go to five. Okay, we'll start anew. All right. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start at p6 okay and you're going to start modifying these fields up here um, these fields are basically they're modifiers and they tell the processor how fast you want to go um, so p6 will start it at an fid of 10 okay and we'll make it flow at a did of 2 I'll just get that a little bit closer all right and we want a voltage of 0 0.93, 0 0.93, good, okay. Now we're going to go up to P5, and we're going to change that again. We want that FID to be 12, and a DID of 2. And I like a voltage of around 0.962 for this one. Um, let's see. Again, AMD out the box, um, I think, uh, supplies too much voltage to these chips, but that's just my personal preference. I like to go with lower voltage. It'll extend your battery life. Um, P4, we will make go at an FID of 14 and a DID of 2 with a voltage of 0.975. Okay, so that just rolled right into there. Um, P3, we want at an FID of 16 and a DID of 2. Again, DID will be 2 up until the boost. Um, and the voltage for that is, let's see, we want 0.987 for that, actually. You know, again, you don't want to put too much voltage if you don't have to. Um, for P2, we will put an FID of 18 and a DID of 2 again, and a voltage of 1.025, yep, sounds good. For P1, we will put an FID of 24, and a DID of 2, and a voltage of, let's see, P1. Let's go with 1.05. Again, you know, we don't want to go overboard with that. And for P0, um, let's go with a FID of 30 and a DID of 2 again. 2. And a voltage of 1.807. Again, just to stay low. And for the um, the max boost uh, stage, we're going to go for 26 
and a DID of two. I'm sorry, um, FID of 26 and a DID of one. This is the one that changes, okay? Um, and we want a voltage for that at, uh, let's see, 1.35. It is the most, you know, the highest power state we want for this processor. So um, let's give it a little bit of juice. All right, now once you've determined those power states, um, you're gonna do three things to finish this off. We're almost done. Number one is make sure that boost is checked, okay? That basically just tells, you know, the program to work to boost it up when you want it to. Make sure that the up and down percentages are at 60 and 20 across the board. Okay, here you can see 60, 20, 60, 20. And here's the most important part to finish it off. Make sure that the up and down, uh, um, up and down uh, in milliseconds, it's at zero um, milliseconds. And that just, that just is telling it that uh, you don't want there to be any delay between the uh, boosting function and the last um, processor state, okay? So then you're just gonna hit apply, okay? And you can rename that as you want. I'll just leave it as profile five and press okay. And your overclock state will be in place. And um, you can actually check how much you've overclocked your computer by just going to, um, to computer. God, this is such terrible quality. And um, system properties and system rating. Okay, and you can ask for a new rating. Yours will obviously not reflect the new processor speed yet, but my A8 3500M is at a 7.0 subscore. And you can get it higher depending on how you tweak your, your, uh, your settings. Um, but that's just one that uh, I thought was stable and makes the computer run pretty stably, no crashing or anything. Um, and just one more thing to test the stability of the build that you're running of the overclocking state that you're running, download a program called CPU-Z from uh, CNET. And just to check if your boost is running, uh, here here we can see that the uh, core speed is running at 2.3 megahertz, which is way above the standard um, processor speed that it comes out the box. So you know that the boost is working. Um, so that's about it. Um, thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful. Any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks.